you're talking about the smell, are you talking about the bathroom? Are you talking about the food court or just the mall at large? Because you're all pretty bad. I'm just going to throw that out there. That's my vote. All right, guys, I'm going to open up to you. I, I have some pretty irrational fears. One of, them, um, one of them happened when I first started entertaining. And what I was afraid of was, yeah, that's not going to do. <laughs> hey, I have only been up so many times. I'm not used to that yet. But I, I have these irrational fears. And when I first started uh, online dating, I had this fear that I, and I didn't want to send all these messages to these women because I was afraid they would, most of them would respond favorably. <laughs> okay? Now, obviously, there's the whole aspect of, yeah, that wouldn't happen, as to why that's ridiculous. <laughs> but then there's the other aspect, as, why am I afraid of that? That's the dream, you know? Like, that, that's gold, like, I should want that. And, you know, here, here's the scenario that played out in my head. I sent them all these messages, and like one would respond favorably and say, and I'd be like, look, you know, I've got all these dates lined up, but um, I'm going to see you on a Thursday. And she'd be like, no, I'm going to see you Wednesday. And I'd be like, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I've got two dates that night. And she's like, well, I'm going to be there. I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I got over that one. But anyway, <laughs> I learned otherwise real fast. Anyway, um, one thing I admire, I admire people that they're heroes, like a burning building, there'll be a burning building and they'll just run inside. I admire that. And you know, it's not that I don't think I could actually run into a burning building. It's that, you know, it's that when they run in, they don't think to themselves, you know, gee, I might have something to live for. You know, they, they, just, they just do it. Whereas I tend to over, I tend to overanalyze things. Like they'll, like they'll just, like when you have someone going to a burning building, you just want someone to run in there, just dive in head first and save someone. Whereas me, I'm just kind of like, you know, <laughs> my way into the burning building. And that's, and that's not what you want. And I think a great way for me to kind of cope with this, if I ever find myself in a hero type situation, would be to have just like a flask or a beer on hand at all times. This way, this way, if there's a burning building, I can just, you know, pound it and go in. Because you never know what's going to happen in there. I could get in there, and there'd be some girl there. And I'd be like, hey, I'm Anthony. Come with me. I'm here to save you. And she'd be like, not if you're the last man on Earth. You know? I've got to psych myself up with that. You, know? you don't know what's going to happen in there. Anyway, I went to an Ethiopian restaurant for the first time recently. And I was pleasantly surprised, everyone. Because... They serve Ethiopian food, and prior to going in there, I thought that was an oxymoron. I really did. <laughs> uh, you know, my impression of an Ethiopian restaurant would be, was that I would go in there and I would starve. <laughs> you know, or, <laughs> or like I would go in there and they would have like this buffet style thing, and people would go up there and get a UN care package. <laughs> <laughs> And, but, but people were eating there, and it said, this is authentic Ethiopian restaurant. And I was thinking, I don't know how authentic this is. But then I looked around and realized they were serving white people. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's my time. Enjoy the rest of the show.